So welcome back to Lightwave Guru. I make now the last modifications and fix all that shizzle that we, we said we have here a stable, more stable construction. Now I show you what you can do with for Titan X if you overclock the cards. Yeah, my default uh, be Octane benchmark score was this here. Yes, without overclocking. Now. I do the following. I overclock the card with that incredible GPU clock. It's crazy, but trust me, it runs totally stable and the temperature would not go over 40 degrees. I show you that now with the Octane benchmark with the last version. We started now and run the benchmark and then I show you the new score. Yeah, We run that. You begin to render and you can see now the GPU clock in action. I overclock them very moderate. I, I do nothing special. Yes, I give all, uh, only the power target 110% and the GPU clock offset is plus 125 megahertz more. Yes, and now he runs so fast. It's incredible. What I can show in that case here, clock, here you can see all that. Yeah, I boost and boost and boost. <coughs> yeah, in that time the Octane benchmark it's uh, running. And you see it's stable. It's totally stable. And you can also see the GPU temperature. It's <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> totally crazy. And you can see here also now that the power consumption goes a little bit up. Yes a little bit more than 800 watt with the default uh, with the default uh, parameter but I would see the score now the new score I think uh, it's much more as before so my last test was more than 570 over 570 70 not 17 <laughs> Come on, do it faster, do it faster. We have no time. So now the temperature is uh, uh, that. But it's uh, work absolutely stable with that GPU clock. It's so crazy. I mean, normally the Titan have 1100 uh, or so. Yeah, GPU clock. And then uh, with the water cooling, it goes up to 1241 41 per default from that company here and yes I bring it now to that here so that clock <laughs> so you see the temperature would not go really more higher yeah it's stabilized on, on uh, 36, 37. And we have here a fan speed from 1000. Yes, that's, that's nothing. Uh, in maximum, we have, we, we can uh, drop it to 3000. It's so crazy. Come on, show me the new score. <laughs> Holy shit. I, what can I say? I'm speechless. <laughs> That's crazy. Come on. Do it a little bit faster for me. <laughs> Incredible. Does that mean I can speed up my render times uh, much, much more? now with a water water cooling system that's very cool 
That's for real very cool. So I also overclock the CPU too. Here, you can see it, yes. That's the reason uh, they compile the scene faster. And with the GPU overclocking, the render it faster. And uh, with that two solutions, uh, you have after that process 10 to 15 percent more render power with the same box. Yes, and it uh, runs stable. That's really crazy. So now we have a look to the new score. That's the new score. Yes. And that's the old score. It's the default score. That means it's 40 million samples more per second. Only with that overclocking. And that's crazy. So that's all what I can show. I'm speechless. See you later.